let us now study about phases and uh, alternating current circuit parameters. To understand phasor, let us first write down something about uh, simple harmonic motion which you already studied. Here we can write that uh, in simple harmonic motion, motion of a particle can be represented by a rotating vectors, which gives us the various parameters of simple harmonic motion. Let's analyze a situation here. Say there is a particle which starts from a point on positive x axis at t equals to zero at an angular speed omega along a circular path. So for this uniform circular motion, if we just have a look on the projection of this particle on its diameter, that is say along y axis. So here you can see the projection is continuously oscillating up and down between the positions plus r and minus r. If we consider the radius of the circle to be a, here we can write at any time t, the angular displacement of this particle from uh, initial point is omega t, and here we can write the position displacement y as uh, a sine of omega t. And we know well that uh, in case of alternating current circuit parameters, whether we are calculating potential difference or uh, current, it is also in a sinusoidal function. So we can write here just like SHM. Similarly, AC EMF and currents can also be represented by rotating vectors. These vectors are called phasors. Phasors are uh, a specified name given to these vectors because actually AC potential difference, EMF or currents are scalar quantities. And here we are representing these scalar quantities by some rotating vectors. So we won't call it actually vectors. These are termed as phasors. Like uh, if we talk about the time varying function of an EMF which can be given as E naught sine omega t. Here we know one is the peak value or EMF amplitude which is the radius of a rotating vector and here we can see the initial phase is zero. So this is the time varying function and if we talk about its phasor form, then in phasor form it is written as E phasor. Phasor is represented by placing a bar over the symbol. And this is written as E naught angle zero degree where E naught is giving us the peak value or amplitude of the physical quantity and the zero is giving us the initial phase of this physical value at t equal to zero. And graphically, if we wish to represent graphically phasor diagrams, can be drawn, but in this situation we draw only the amplitude, say its amplitude is E naught, we write E naught this at zero degrees, so for reference line its angle is zero. So this is the way how graphically it is represented, and here we can see if uh, EMF is given as E naught sine of omega t plus alpha in some situation, then it's uh, Phasor form can be written as E phasor is equals to E naught angle alpha, and it is graphically written as, or graphically it is drawn as E naught amplitude at an angle alpha in anti-clockwise manner from the reference line where theta is considered as zero. This is the azimuthal line or the reference line from where we are measuring the phase angle. This is the way how phasors are represented graphically or in symbolic form. Let's continue on the next sheet about some standard phasors for resistances and reactances also. 
let us study about standard phases for resistances and reactances. As we have discussed that uh, current phaser and uh, EMF phasers are uh, rotating, are like uh, rotating vectors like SHM, but for Mathematical analysis of AC circuits, we define standard phases for R, L and C. And these are standard phases we write like if there is a resistance R, its uh, phasor is written as R phasor and it is written as R angle 0 degree. There is no direct logic behind why the phasor is given in this form. Directly you need to use it in various circuits to analyze. Actually these forms are derived to analyze the electrical circuits for alternating current mathematically. If we are given a capacitor then its phasor for AC circuit is written as XC phasor and it is given as 1 by omega C angle minus pi by 2. Similarly for an inductor, the phasor which is for inductive reactance, it is written as omega L angle plus pi by 2. So these are three standard phasors which we are going to use directly in circuits. And from the coming sections, uh, it will be clear to you why specifically these values are chosen for resistance, uh, inductive capacitance and inductive uh, inductance phasor 